I was one of those people that was sitting in the transition assistance program and all I could think was, I just can't wait to get out of here and start the new chapter of my life. Not the thing you do. <laughs> Listen to very carefully about the things that they tell you regarding your benefits, which I, I'm now lately finding out the things that are available to me, available to me as being an honorably discharged veteran. Because I didn't know anything about the job I'm doing now at the National Cemetery. Didn't know what the National Cemetery was, even though I worked next door to one in my last duty assignment. So I wasn't one who did my homework. I, I think I could be a lot farther along in what I'm doing now, although I've done well. But imagine where I could be had I had done that homework and pursued my passion much more quicker than I would have if I had not taken a year off or taking that time to apply. If you can apply for a government job, why you run active duty? Because it's going to take a minute for them to get around to interviewing you and bringing you on and doing those security checks. So if you're in that closing window of your retirement, I tell people in the government is what you want to do, apply. 